All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Control X, go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video, we're going to talk about three easy concepts that we can use to attack Cover 3 Sky style defenses. Now, the concepts that we talk about in this video are real life concepts that teams use to attack Cover 3, and we're going to show that they're also very effective in Madden as well. Now, if you like these style of videos, or you have any specific questions about how to attack a specific coverage, or maybe how to stop a specific play or formation, make sure to add that down in the comment section below, and we'll look through those and see if we can get some more videos out to help answer some of those questions that you guys are having. With that being said, let's hop into this one. And like I said, we are attacking cover three skies. So we're gonna come out on a cover three sky style defense. And the first concept we're gonna talk about is a curl flat concept. Okay, so if you see to the left side of the field, we have the outside receiver on a curl and the inside receiver on a flat. If you look to the right side of the field, we have the outside receiver on a curl and we have the running back to the flat. Now, I will say in this situation, if we are running the flat with our running back, I would recommend putting him on this flat route if you have Hot Route Master or Running Back Apprentice, it will get to the flat a little bit quicker than what a swing route will. Okay, if you don't have Hot Route Master or Running Back Apprentice, you can always block your running back and put the receiver or tight end to that side in a flat route as well, and you're gonna get the same look here. Okay, now when we're running this, I do like to run this to the short side, but regardless of which side you're throwing this to, you wanna focus on that side of the field's flat defender. Okay, so if we look at a cover three defense, you can see that each side of the field has that purple or pink zone, which is a curl flat, and that's that side of the field's flat defender. Okay, that's who we're really reading to see which of these two routes we're gonna throw, whether it be the curl, whether it be the flat. Like I said, I do like to throw to the short side of the field here just to make it a shorter throw for our quarterback. And if you look to the right, this is the defender that we're gonna be reading here, this curl flat defender to the right, okay? If he backs up, we're gonna be able to throw the flat. If he comes down, we're gonna be able to throw the curl. Okay, so you'll see here, we say hike, he backs up, that allows us to throw the flat. We can turn up field and get ourselves a nice, easy four to five yards, okay? I'll run it again just to show you that it is consistent. And again, we see him back up. We can now throw this, turn it up field, and get ourselves a nice four to five yards time and time again, okay? You can take this over and over. They're never gonna be able to make a play or intercept this if they stay in the stock defense. And you can see, this is the defender we're reading. As soon as he backs up, that tells us we can throw it underneath uh, and pick up those nice, easy yards. Now, if we get a better rack animation, you're gonna be able to turn this up for five plus as well. But you can see that we're easily getting ourselves four yards on these plays um, just because we see that this guy's backing up and that is the flat defender, which tells us our flat route or flat receiver is going to be open. And like I said, if you do have it to the running back, you are able to run that as well. So if we see him back up, we can also throw this to the running back. And you can see there, we're able to pick up five plus yards very easily, okay? Now, if they are uh, playing down on that flat route, that's when we're going to be able to throw the curl, okay? So let's say that they bite down on the flat, that now opens up the curl behind it, and we can throw that and get ourselves a nice, easy 10 to 15 yards, okay? Now, you do wanna make sure you throw that ball uh, down and away from the defender and try to come back to the ball as much as you can just to make sure that defender over the top cannot defend it But you'll see here. This is the defender that we're reading. He doesn't back up this time He shuffles directly to the side which tells us he's playing hard down on the flat And now as soon as we see this curl turn around We're able to throw this and we're able to catch this uh, and again turn up field and get ourselves a nice easy game Okay Again, this is going to be very consistent. We'll run it one more time uh, against a shaded down coverage where they're going to attack um, the flat area. So we have that curl open. So again, you see here, we're able to throw that, get ourselves a nice 10 to 12 yard gain. Okay, so that's the curl flat. Like I said, you can run it to either the left or the right side of the field. I do recommend running it to the short side just to make that throw to the curl a little bit quicker uh, and a little bit shorter of a throw for your quarterback. Okay, now the second concept that we're going to talk about is going to be a sail or a flood concept. Okay, so again, we're still facing cover three sky. And the great thing about these is you can run these out of a bunch of different formations. Okay, and here we're going to set this up all on our own with Hot Route Master. Okay, so what you're going to see is you want to look to a three receiver side, right? So you see to the right side of the screen, that's our three receiver side. We want the outside receiver on a fade or a streak. And then we want one of the inside receivers on a flat. And we want one of the, the other inside receiver on a corner route. Okay, 
So this is what it's gonna look like, and it's called a flood because we're flooding the right side of the field. Okay, we have a deep route, an intermediate route, and a shallow route. Okay, and here, we're still going to be able to read that same flat defender to the side we're throwing this to. Okay, so again, do like to throw this to the short side of the field as well, and you'll see here, now this curl flat is really the guy we wanna read. Okay, now what you'll see here is when we run this, if he backs up or jams the receiver that's running the corner, that's going to allow us to throw the flat underneath for some nice, easy yardage. Okay, so if we go back to replay here, you see this is the defender we're reading. As soon as he jams that inside receiver that's on that corner route, that tells us this flat is going to be wide open. We can throw this time and time again, and you can see that's an easy 11 to 12 yards there. Okay, even if they do jam that receiver, you are still able to throw the corner. Uh, if you do have patience and you do have a little bit of time in the pocket so if we run this here again you can see that if we wait he will get to an area of the field where you're still able to throw that okay so uh, whether that guy jams that receiver or not you can throw the corner you just have to be patient with it okay but like i said if you do see him jam we always have this flat receiver open time and time again okay if they do uh, jam and you still want to throw the corner you just have to wait for him to get over this defender here and we're going to be able to throw this right in this gap and get ourselves a nice easy 20 to 25 yard gain okay now if they are playing underneath and they're really attacking that flat route uh, to our tight end it's going to make the corner route even easier to read uh, just because we see uh, that there's obviously no one in that area we can throw that for a nice easy pickup as well okay so again we'll run that one more time just to show you it's very consistent this is if they would be shading down to stop the flat route we're now going to be able to just hit this corner on the sideline uh, time and time again and you just want to make sure you come back to that ball so that outside defender does isn't able to make a play on it uh, especially if they have a zone ko out there uh, but the purpose of this streak route here you'll see is to run this defender deep enough to give us this gap in the coverage to really throw this and then come back and catch that ball again this is a nice easy 17 yard gain on this play okay so we talked about curl flat we talked about flood or sail concepts and the last concept we're going to talk about is four verticals okay and four verticals does a really good job of attacking uh, cover three down the field okay and what i like to do with four verticals is I like to run it if I'm in the center of uh, the field or as close to the middle of the field as I can be you can run this on the hash marks as well uh, but I do like it here in the center of the field and what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be reading this middle of the field safety okay so if it's a one high safety like this which is what a lot of cover threes will show you you want to read that safety okay if he goes any specific way we're going to throw the seam or the inside receiver away from where the safety goes okay and what you're going to do when you're running this four verticals against one high cover three looks is we're going to read seam to seam okay so you're going to either look uh, to the left of screen uh, seam first or you're either going to look y to the a or you're going to look a to the y that part is completely up to you uh, i typically look away from the user first so let's say the user is on this right of screen linebacker. I would look to the Y receiver first. Uh, if they were on this left of screen linebacker, I would look to the A receiver first. Okay, that's just something that I like to do. Uh, but that is a personal preference uh, and you guys can do whatever you'd like there. But again, we're reading seam to seam. And then the last read would be the running back on that check down. Okay, but what you'll see here is these inside seam routes are going to do a really good job of attacking down the field and we can throw this and we can pick up nice big chunks of yards against cover three now what you'll see here is the safety actually doesn't do a very good job of picking either side to play he just backs straight up so that's going to really open up both seams for us okay and you see here we're able to throw this once he gets past the linebackers and before he gets there to that deep safety and we can catch this and it's a nice 28 29 yard gain there I can show you that we can run the same exact thing and throw to the other receiver, right? So you see here, we can throw to this other seam route as well. But you just want to make sure uh, that you do pass lead this inside just to avoid that outside receiver there. Uh, didn't do a good job of that on my end on that one. Let's run it one more time here. You can see here, if we get away from that outside defender, uh, just to make sure that his KO cannot come into play. But you can see there, we have wide open um, areas of the field to both seams, okay? You see there, we could have still threw this uh, one to the left side guy right here when he gets into this gap But if we want to throw it here again, just pass lead that away from that outside defender 
uh, throw this into this gap in the defense and really turn that upfield and get some easy yardage. And lastly, what you might see some people do is they'll man up uh, this guy to this guy if you keep running this, right? So they'll man up the left of screen guy to the left of screen seam. And then they'll use her this guy and they'll cover the tight end. When they do that, that's when our running back's gonna come open on the check and release. So if you see them guys vacate the middle, just check it off to your running back here, turn up field and get some nice easy yardage as well. Again, that's your last resort on this play. But if we go to replay real quick, you'll see as soon as you see these guys bail to go cover these guys down the scenes because we've been beating them with this uh, verticals uh, look time and time again, that's when our running back is gonna open up right here in the opening in the middle of the field, turn it upfield, and get some nice easy, easy yardage there as well. So again, as you can see, three really easy concepts. Again, all three of these work in real life, and all three of them can be very effective in Madden as well. If you've made it to the end of this video, odds are you're serious about becoming a better Madden player, and we're here to help. On our website at huddle.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks all of our full game plans created by some of the best Madden players in the world. You'll also have access to our private Discord where Madden Pros will answer your questions and help take your game to the next level. Have a great day.